Hi, this is Dave Heakey, Director of Athletics. I just want to take a minute to uh, highlight and recognize some of the outstanding people who have helped us get to the point of uh, reopening, re-entering, and getting ready for competition. Uh, the people who have worked so hard over the last uh, six to seven months. You know, an outstanding member of our Wildcat family for decades, uh, someone who's done so much for us in the area of medical services. Uh, our safe and healthy return to campus uh, and competition is not possible without great leadership. And Dr. Steve Paul has led our reentry efforts from the very beginning and from the front. Doc Paul, alongside our other team doctors, our great medical trainers, have worked to lead our entire medical staff to put the health and safety of our student athletes, coaches, and staff at the forefront of everything we do. The passion and expertise of Doc Paul and his staff were pivotal in our athletic department becoming the gold standard of testing and care during these unprecedented times. This reentry has been really a, a challenging, um, ongoing, fluid, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, the progress that we've had to make to get to this point and bring our student athletes back on campus. You know, I, I want to just give a shout out to, um, to Derek and and the administration for the job they did keeping everyone in contact and abreast on what was going on because it was changing so quickly but I really kind of leaned on on them to kind of get some answers to make sure that our kids felt safe coming back and that their parents felt that they were going to be taken care of and um, through all this uh, we've continued even to this point today um, to make some some very good decisions to uh, make sure that our athletes uh, feel good about uh, being back and, and getting back doing something they love to do and that's play the game of softball. Our athletic trainer for men's basketball here at Arizona is a uh, young man named Justin Kukoski. Uh, Justin's been here at the U of A for 19 years and if you talk to any former men's basketball player one of the names they'll always say at the, at the beginning when, they, when you ask them what they loved about their experience here in Tucson is to talk about our, our athletic training, competence, uh, facilities, and uh, really every, everything that an athlete needs we have here. But really what we have is we have an exceptional person doing the job. Uh, he transcends being an athletic trainer. Uh, he's a friend. Uh, he's a companion. Sometimes he thinks he's a coach. Uh, that's one thing we have to keep him in his lane about. But in terms of what he has done through this pandemic, starting uh, as far back as late March when we left Las Vegas as a team, I mean, I don't know if there's anybody uh, really affiliated with our university that's put in more time and effort. Seven days a week, uh, you know, he, didn't know, he no longer worked with men's basketball. It's every sport uh, up early in the morning, 6 a.m and uh, doesn't get home until the mid-evening. Uh, his wife is a saint, but he has put in above and beyond uh, the hours and the, and the call of, uh, of duty. Well, I think it starts at the top with Dr. Robbins being, being a doctor and the team that he surrounds himself with, and it's going from the top into athletics. And I'm biased, you know, certainly our trainer, Samantha, um, you know, Sam as she goes by, she is not only, um, you know, she, she's been going nonstop, as well as all the trainers. Doctors, since the summer, they, they've had no break. Um, we're a little, usually in the summertime, there's a little bit of downtime. They didn't have that type of break. They've been working with all the athletes and getting everyone ready, you know, certainly to, to come back and having those safe protocols in place so people can either play safer or return to play. Um, I feel that their efforts have been elite. I feel our department has been elite, you know, when it comes to all the COVID, uh, all the COVID things from contact tracing to testing, and I know that we're, you know, we're doing some things to even get better, to get better at that. But certainly, I'm biased towards Sam. She, uh, she's there for all 19 of our athletes and our and our coaching staff, and uh, we owe her a debt of gratitude you know, for the efforts that she's put forth. Our training staff, our medical staff, have been outstanding in getting our athletes back on the field and being safe. They, they usually work extremely hard. Uh, Adam Garman has been tremendous, uh, but there's a whole nother layer now. It's 
dealing and setting up protocols and making sure athletes are following the protocols so they feel safe and can do the training. Dr. Paul's been instrumental in doing that with us and working hand in hand and getting all that set up. Then when you start the training, Jim Krumpos and our strength staff, they're dealing with another layer of protocols and how to keep everyone safe, but still improve our athletes and be there for them and support them to make them better. So when you group it all together, it, it, it's really been outstanding to see everybody support each other and, and be there for our athletes.